Hello, my name is Derek McGilvery. I am an intuitive life coach called A Happy Medium. I use mindfulness and hypnotherapy to assist my clients. I know that a lot of you are now starting to have the symptoms of cabin fever. I have taken a script from Hypnotic World's website and adapted it to help you deal with this cabin fever or the feeling of being stuck in your home. First of all, I want you to just take a deep breath and imagine a warm, beautiful summer's day on a beach and you feel that lovely warm heat coming down. That lovely energy that golden light energy. You're just taking that breath. You're appreciating all the lovely warmth and light at the back of your head, neck and shoulders. You feel that cool sea breeze coming in. You can hear the seagulls in the distance. You have a lovely water coming up from the shore. Kids may be playing in the distance. You can even smell that fish and chip shops and the barbecues that people are having. You can taste that ice cream as well. The kids are probably having for yourself. You feel the hot sand between your toes. Walking along that beach. We find a couple of deck chairs and we lie down. We close our eyes, you have the sun tile on and your sunglasses on. Just close your eyes and relax and breathe in the lovely fresh air. And now that you are deeply relaxed, you're starting to realise there are things you can control in life and there are things you cannot control. For example, you can't control the global impact of something like a pandemic. You can control how you react and how you personally manage it though. You can take steps to lower stress and do things like establishing a routine every day. Just because you're at home doesn't mean you shouldn't get up at the same time and shower and get ready for your day. Doing so can help you feel better about yourself. Another thing you can do if you have to work at home is to mix up your space a little bit. If you have a laptop, you can work in your office one day and move to another room the next day. If you only have one room to work in, you could perhaps move the furniture around a little bit every week just to keep things fresh. It is also important to connect with others, even if you're connecting online or on social media. You might video chat or just pick up the phone and connect with others in a meaningful way. Another good thing to do is find some time to be separate too, especially if you live in a home with a lot of other people. Too much closeness can get on your nerves, so everybody in the house should strive to find a quiet space they can retreat to when things get overwhelming. If you're able to and allowed to, you should also dedicate an hour or so a day to taking a brisk walk outside. Sometimes getting fresh air is all you may need to shift your focus. Being coped up is also a great time to get caught up on your reading. Listen to your favourite podcast or start a new project. During this time it's also important to challenge yourself to live in the moment and not constantly worry about what tomorrow will bring. Embrace this time and enjoy it because you don't know how long it will last. As you move through this process it's important to acknowledge your feelings. 
Stress is something we all must deal with. We cannot often change what is happening around us, but we can change how we react and how we respond. We can change the things we can control and learn to manage and accept those things that are outside of our personal control. Staying calm during something like a pandemic can be very challenging. It's very stressful having to remain inside and self-quarantine. Your normal routine is no longer something you can rely on. It can be frustrating having to stay indoors. You probably miss being outside and miss the social connections. Cabin fever is a real thing, but there are things you can do to feel better. You may have days where you easily manage the stress of being cooped up inside, and other days where you feel like you're falling apart, which is perfectly understandable. You can learn to minimise the effects of carbon fever by taking things one day at a time. Getting in touch with the present moment is empowering because it helps you become aware of stressors and then let them go. Doing so can minimise stress and lower the stress response helping you learn how to respond versus constantly react. Another great way to manage carbon fever is to practice visualisation and guided imagery. The things you visualise while in a hypnotic trance are perceived as real by the mind, which makes it a great technique for something like carbon fever. Let's try that now. Now in this very relaxed state of mind, focus on your breathing. Notice the rise and fall of your chest and your diaphragm as you breathe. Connect with the sensation of the breath. You are breathing deeply, listening to the sound of my voice. Breath after breath, breathing in peace and tranquility and breathing out stress. Imagine your muscles melting away with each deep breath. Try and empty your mind of all thoughts. Imagine your thoughts are like clouds floating in the sky. If any stray thoughts appear, practice pushing them away. Notice if your mind is focused and clear, or if it wanders off. If it wanders off, just keep bringing yourself back to the breath. Listen to the sounds around you or the beating of your heart. And in this relaxed state of mind, you begin thinking about those things that make you feel good. What kind of things do you enjoy doing on a lazy day? Imagine a warm summer's day. You've absolutely nothing planned. Picture yourself sitting outside on this beautiful day. The air is warm and the sky is clear. There is a mountain off in the distance, softly surrounded by clouds. Picture whatever is around you now and sit in this quiet space. And you might even be somewhere you consider a sanctuary of sorts. This might be a rustic home in the woods, a lovely spa retreat, or even a bungalow. In this place, you have everything you need to rest and relax. You relax inside or go outside. You've access to your own private outdoor space, here away from all the crowds and people 
and you are perfectly safe. And perhaps in this private bungalow, you have a lovely porch with a swing. You can sit on this swing and swing back and forth as often as you like. Imagine yourself doing that now. You're swinging back and forth, back and forth. It's such a relaxed feeling. You might also have a cool drink sitting next to you. Maybe a cool glass of lemonade or tea. You take a sip of the cool liquid and enjoy the sensation as it runs down your throat. You feel refreshed and relaxed as you swing back and forth ever so slowly. As you swing you notice the clouds above. The clouds are moving slowly as well. You feel peaceful and calm. Notice how quiet everything is. As you swing, you can feel the rush of air blowing over you. You're watching those clouds gently float by. And as you swing, you notice the environment all around you. You see a valley full of beautiful flowers. The flowers gently open up to the afternoon sun. The breeze blows ever so slowly. And you might also decide to take a walk in this beautiful meadow to stretch your legs. And as you begin walking, you immediately notice the aromas of the plants and flowers and they smell sweet. You soon discover a hidden path and decide to explore. The plants tickle your skin as you walk and that makes you smile. Off in the distance you see a beautiful forest and it beckons you. As you breathe in deeply you can smell the evergreens and the pine. You continue walking, taking in all the sights and sounds all around you. You may notice small animals scattering about or hear the soft crunch of sticks and twigs crackling as you walk. You're feeling adventurous, you decide to continue following this hidden path as you drift deeper and deeper down into this peaceful relaxation. And the forest is soothing and calming. You feel inexplicably drawn to its magic. As you walk, the brush becomes thicker and thicker as you go deeper and deeper. You feel yourself becoming more and more relaxed. And as you walk in this forest, you notice the sun gently reflecting upon the forest floor below. Off in the distance, you hear a gurgling stream and you begin walking toward the peaceful sound. You begin to realise this is just what you needed. A day outdoors in the fresh air. It feels good to connect with the earth after being cooped up inside. As you walk, the earth replenishes your energy. There is a wonderful technique known as grounding that can help you replenish your energy as well. Grounding is a process that helps your physical body to connect to this life-sustaining energy that comes from the earth. You decide to take off your shoes for a moment so your feet connect with the raw earth below. As you connect with Mother Earth, you feel rejuvenated. Your energy is immediately replenished. Take a moment to stand here and notice how it makes you feel. With each beat of your heart, you connect more and more with the Earth. After a while, you put your shoes back on and continue walking. 
As you walk further, you watch a leaf gently falling from a branch high above the earth and are mesmerised by the sight of it. You come upon an old tree and raise your hand up to feel the rough bark. The bark feels rough on your skin, but it's a nice, earthly feeling. The air smells musty. You notice ferns and mushrooms gently pushing their way out of the ground. You feel a deep sense of peacefulness here. You feel safe here. The canopy of leaves over your head is protecting you. You feel as if the world totally supports you today. There's absolutely nothing you need to do or nowhere need you to go. Any remaining tension begins to drain from your body. You are on a secret journey within. This is a place where you can just let go. You look up and notice the trees seem to go on for miles. The sun makes a beautiful, intricate, lace-like pattern on the ground below. You wonder what it would be like to sit up at the top of the tree and look down at the forest below. All of your problems seem to fade away with a gentle breeze. As you breathe deeply, you breathe in peace and tranquility. And you know that any time you feel cooped up, you can close your eyes and take this journey in your mind. The mind is a vast place, ever expanding and growing. With each deep breath you take, you feel more and more and more refreshed. You notice a soft call of birds, water trickling nearby, and a small animals gently moving all around you. The air is cool and the breeze is soft. You enjoy the sounds the forest makes, like the breeze blowing through the trees. The birds singing and an owl hooting off in the distance. You might even stretch your arms above your head and ease out any last bits of tension. This is exactly what you needed today. Your perception begins to shift. You suddenly see this extra time is a lovely gift. You feel a smile come over your face. You've everything you need today to feel good. The breeze continues to relax you more and more. The forest floor is soft and thick. The air is fresh. And you can smell the aroma of the pine all around you. You can take everything around you as you walk. The smell of the flowers, the aroma of the pine trees, and even the smell of the air. You can see the blue sky peeking through the green branches. You watch the clouds gently float by. And you don't have a care in the world, not today. This is the perfect time to rejuvenate your energy. And now you stretch your body a little more and decide to walk back on the path that brought you here. You pass by all the beautiful trees and the stream and listen to the sounds that the birds make as you walk. You step back over small sticks and twigs and logs and once again stop to feel the rough tree bark. You feel completely re-energised from this walk in the forest and it feels nice. This is a place where you can truly rest. And before you know it, you're back at your little bungalow. 
you feel so happy. You are ready to hunker down and enjoy your evening. And in this wonderful place, you have everything you need to be comfortable and to feel good. The kitchen has been stocked with all your favourite foods. You have an assortment of beverages to help you feel good as well. You have plenty of cool, clean water. Water is very hydrating, so you always make sure you drink plenty of water. There's a huge bathtub for soaking all of your cares away. You love soaking and relaxing. And you also have a lovely assortment of books and things to read. Catch up on your reading or to watch a little television. You have a cushy window seat with a view of the valley perfect for those lazy days. As you explore this bungalow, you then notice the bedroom. This bedroom is absolutely perfect. You have a large feather bed and a comfortable cheese lounge there. There are many, many spots throughout this bungalow that you can go to, relax or read. You can spend as much time there as you like. This bungalow is always waiting for you. And you're welcome anytime. Time passes away and you find plenty of things to fill your time. You might listen to music, watch a good movie or simply take a nap. Perhaps you have a project you'd like to start. Think of all activities you can get caught up with now. Think about all the things you never had time to do until now. You begin to realise that everything is a matter of perspective. You can either choose to feel anxious about being cooped up or use it as a rare opportunity for going within and rediscovering who you are. It's a wonderful revelation. Today you are choosing to feel good. You sleep well here. You wake up and feel good about the day ahead. And the best part of this is the fact you can make your own schedule. You may even sleep in a little because you have more time without that daily commute. You get up in the morning at a leisurely pace and enjoy a lovely cup of coffee or tea. You enjoy slowly savouring your morning beverage. And the best part of all this is the fact you can venture out into that hidden path any time you feel cooped up. You can take a walk and smell the flowers. You can take your shoes off and connect with the gentle energy of the earth. You can sit by an old tree and read a book. You can sit and swing on your porch and watch the clouds up in the sky. It's wonderful having this kind of freedom. But whenever you're feeling even a little stressed, you close your eyes, take off your shoes and walk barefoot in the grass. It's a lovely feeling. You feel easy and free and you now know you can handle anything that comes your way. You've got this. You are fully prepared. You take life one day at a time. You enjoy each moment. You savour this time. Take one more moment now to enjoy this peaceful, relaxing feeling on this lazy summer day. And now, as I count from one to five, you will awaken. One, coming back slowly. Two, a little more now. 
three, coming back to the present time and the present place. Four, excited about all of these incredible changes. Five, eyes wide open, wide awake. Eyes open, wide awake. Now, gently bring your attention back to the room, back to where you are sitting or lying. Stretch your body as your energy begins to return to normal. Feeling invigorated and strong. You are now back in the now. Thank you for taking the time out for yourself as you deserved it. You are doing well and you will overcome your obstacles. If you need further help, please feel free to contact myself. Derek McGilvery at ahappymedium.co.uk Email Derek at ahappymedium.co.uk Telephone 044 Thank you for listening today. Thank you.